Hey, happy Monday, everybody. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Now I'm going to update you on this storm because now we have an enhanced section of a day five, a huge section. A lot of winds, a lot of chances for hail and chances for tornadoes, guys, all the way up to the upper Midwest. It's actually going to be a one-two punch. We have the big system now, and we have a second system that's going to come right behind it and add more snowfall, more rainfall, not really severe weather on the second one. This first one is going to be major. And it looks like it could be a lot of nocturnal storms as well. So you can see right here on Vorticity, it strengthens way up for Northern California. This is bringing potentially five feet of snow for Northern California, two or three feet for Southern California. But as it comes into the central U.S. for Thursday, it's bringing severe weather. And as it goes through Friday, we get a strong surface low buildup over the upper Midwest. A lot of winds are building up and a potential squall line is forming up as this goes out to the northeast, bringing snow a little bit to the New England states, upper Midwest. Then we get that second piece that comes straight across, and that just adds more snowfall to the upper Midwest, potentially a foot wide spread. And you can see this a little bit better here. So the surface low comes all the way towards Northern California, still strengthening up to a 989 millibar pressure, weakens a little bit as it comes all the way down Southern California. Then once we go into Thursday and Friday, it builds up a strong surface low over the central U.S. And we get a lot of winds. We get a lot of severe weather coming in. But once you go overnight Thursday into Friday, then we get that big surface low forming up. And a potential nasty squall line does pop up all over Iowa, Illinois, Missouri, and going towards Indiana. A big area for severe weather for Friday. And that's the biggest so far. And it's overnight and going towards the northeast as well. A lot of winds and a lot of storms coming your way also. Now, so far, according to National Weather Service, it brings anywhere from five to almost six feet of snow towards Lassen Park for Northern California, getting maybe three, four feet a little above that. But everybody all southern of that is going to get anywhere from two to maybe three feet of snowfall. But as it comes in for Thursday, we still have that 15% severe weather risk, but now it has ramped up for Friday. Not only the 15%, which is huge, all the way from Texas all the way to Wisconsin, you have a big enhanced section. And the 15% is in the yellow, but the 30% enhanced section is Memphis, Tennessee, St. Louis, Missouri, Little Rock, Arkansas, Rockford, Illinois, and Cedar Rapids, Iowa. And you can see here from National Weather Service that we actually are getting a cyclogenesis occurring over the central high plains. That's where you have a strengthening low pressure in the atmosphere over the north central. And this is where it's going to get stronger and stronger and bring severe impacts. And it's all these warm temperatures. We get some really warm temperatures for Thursday. But once we go into Friday, you see how the warm temperatures carries overnight for Thursday into Friday. It just booms with a lot more warm weather and this goes into saturday as well it is going to be a few days of some very warm weather however this right here is bringing a lot of strong dew points a lot of convection and is bringing a lot of potential severe weather and once the cold front comes through it is going to bring the snowfall towards the upper midwest potentially three to seven inches but we do have that second one coming right behind that and that's going to add up to another three to seven inches all together bringing a total of almost a foot of snow all across the upper midwest but we're talking about temperatures getting all the way up to the 80s for texas a high 70s across the south and the southeast of course southern florida being in the 80s but all these warm temperatures coming all the way to the north is bringing our severe weather event instead of further to the south it's coming way up to the north and when you go overnight, it's still bringing very warm temperatures all across the north central. And for Friday, it warms way up. Very strong temperatures all the way into the high 80s, almost the 90s now for the south central and the southeast. Bringing 60s and 70s all the way up towards Ohio Valley. This is going to bring your severe weather. Then the cold front is coming on down and it is going to turn into a lot of snowfall. So there's going to be a lot of snow for the upper Midwest. But you can see over here, like for me, from Milwaukee, none of y'all are going to be getting snow. Y'all going to see a lot of storms. And you can see your dew points that they raise way up for Thursday. But once you go into Friday, it booms even more. Now we're talking about high 60s. You even get in the 70s when you get into that dark orange but high dew points all the way up towards southern Wisconsin. All you need is 55 
degree dew points to bring thunderstorms and potentially severe weather. And we have high 60s coming all the way across with that storm as it comes through on Friday. It is going to be a significant severe weather event, I do believe. And this is bringing your cape, your potential energy, all the way up by Thursday. But once you go overnight for Friday, we're talking about 10 o'clock in the morning. We already got very strong cape, very high amounts of instability going all the way up towards Iowa. Right here, you see it right around 1 p.m. on Friday. You have a strong line all the way from Texas all the way to Iowa with over 2,000 joules. This is some very strong lift. This is going to be a nasty storm. And it does move across towards Friday evening, bringing high instability numbers towards northern Illinois as well and eastern Iowa as these storms brew up. Friday is going to be the biggest day. And there is going to be a lot of lightning strikes and a lot of chances for hail as well. So as you go through 1 p.m., now you have storms all the way into southern Wisconsin, all the way from Texas, with chances for hail definitely for Texas, maybe even for portions of Iowa. A lot of lightning strikes in that area. As you go through 7 p.m., you still have some very strong storms. But once you go through 9 and 10, then it starts weakening down as it moves to the east. But you still have a big severe weather event that's going to be happening overnight Thursday and for Friday. A lot of chances for hail as well. And you can see how the winds do strengthen up. So as you go through Thursday, you get some very strong winds all the way to 1 o'clock in the morning, upper air aloft. But once you go into Friday, it gets even stronger winds building up as you go through 10 o'clock through midnight and overnight hours. This is also carrying towards the northeast, bringing some winds y'all direction as well. Now we still have time to pinpoint where and when everything is gonna happen. So far the models are at a little bit of disagreement of where these winds are gonna be. The 50s are the orange, the 60s are the red, the brown gets in the 70s. But you can see how the models are just at a disagreement right now where and when this is gonna be. However, they are both shown it is bringing 50 and 60 miles per hour wind gusts with this system as it comes across Thursday and Friday. But by the time you go all the way through Saturday, you have a lot of heavy precipitation towards the upper Midwest, and some of this is going to be rainfall. A lot of this is going to turn into snow, as well as for the south and the southeast. You're starting to get two, three inches of rainfall, and for the west coast, for Oregon and northern California, a lot of heavy precipitation coming your way, and this is going to turn into that heavy snowfall for California. But then that second system comes in and it whooshes more precipitation all across the upper Midwest, even heavier for Southern Oregon, Northern California. But now you're starting to get two and three inches of rainfall towards Ohio Valley. And we're talking about a lot of rain, guys. Everything is all two inches plus. And you're getting three inches plus for the upper Midwest. And a lot of that is going to be in the form of snow. But look at all this rain that's coming with this system. It is going to bring a lot of problems on the south side as well as the north side. And the snow adding up from the first one isn't going to be a lot. But once that second one kicks in, it's going to add up to potentially over a foot. For the Dakotas, Minnesota, Wisconsin, even possible northern Michigan, as well as a lot of heavy snowfall towards the west coast as well. Now remember, we are giving away another one of these solar weather stations for today. So you must be a subscriber, of course. Hit the like button and you must put the comment weatherman in the comments. I will be picking the winner in tomorrow's video. I just want to keep this a nice short video. Give you the latest updates on what's going on. I didn't want to take a bunch of y'all time. Happy Monday to every single one of you. Hope you have a very blessed Monday out there. We will know more information as we get closer and I will get more detailed in the forecast. But there's no point in showing a bunch of detail right now because this is going to move. This pattern is not set in place. But once again, thank you for your time. God bless you and your families. Hope you have a very blessed day today. And remember, all glory always goes to God. Psalm 71, 1 through 4. In thee, O Lord, do I put my trust. Let me never be put to confusion. Deliver me in thy righteousness and cause me to escape. Incline thy ear unto me and save me. Be thou my strong habitation, whereunto I may continually resort. Thou hast given commandment to save me, for thou art my rock and my fortress. Deliver me, O God, out of the hand of the wicked, out of the hand of the unrighteous and cruel man. Amen. But once again, thank you so much for your time. And above all things, all glory goes to God. Our Father in heaven, 
Yahweh. And may he always keep us safe every day of our lives until his return. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Have a great Monday, everybody.